Hello everybody, my name is Louis Rémy. I am responsible for the introduction of the interval property in jQuery 1.4.3. I wanted to be able to change the frame rate of animations in jQuery because I wanted to see how it affects the smoothness of animations. Making this property available to developers was only the first step, and today I am introducing a tool that will allow you to manipulate this property and see the effects in real time. I've built a scene which will allow me to stress test my browser with complex animations. If I click here, you'll see tens of drops spawning on the scene and being animated uh, through my screen. As you can see, this is pretty complex and CPU-intensive animation. I'm actually using um, a fork of the path plugin combined with the rotate plugin, which allow me to make shape look like they're following their own path. So I can add more drops to the scene. and I can stop the animation. Next to those basic controls, you can see the interval bookmarklet that, I, that I'm activating. Using this bookmarklet, you'll be able to modify the interval property. You see that it calculates the theoretical FPS, the number of frames per second that this interval corresponds to. Remember that the lower the interval, the potentially higher the FPS. And you can see that it measures the actual frame rate of the scene. I come back to the last property later. So, if I add elements animated elements to the scene, you can see that the measured FPS decreases, and the more elements I add, the lower the actual FPS, and the higher the CPU usage. And if I switch the interval to a very high interval, the animation doesn't feel as smooth as it filled with the default value. So there are a couple interesting things that I, that I learned by building this tool that I want to show you today. First obvious but important thing is that as soon as the animation is a little complex, then trying to lower the interval to increase the frame rate is hopeless. The browser simply can't keep up with such a low interval and will never reach the theoretical FPS. As you can see, the FPS stays around 40, between 33 and 47, which doesn't differ as much from what it is using the standard interval. Then I said, maybe if lowering the interval doesn't work, it's because the browser is overloaded. Maybe the browser is drowning, and by increasing the interval, I could give it some fresh air, and increase the FPS. So I tried to use a 33 millisecond interval, which should be equivalent to 30 FPS. I tried that in many different browsers, and I noticed that with complex enough animations, it doesn't produce 
smoother animation than when than with the standard interval. So we're here around 20 FPS, between 16 and 20 actually. And if I use the standard, the default interval, you can see that the actual frame rate is the same, or approximately the same. So I couldn't find any evidence that increasing the interval can improve smoothness. So if lowering the interval or increasing it doesn't produce smoother animation, animations, what is this property useful for? Well, say you want to put an animated scene at the top of your blog, quite simple animation. Then using this tool, you will see that a higher interval can significantly lower the CPU usage. So if you care about the fan noise and battery level of your readers, then you'll be able to tune the interval and find the value at which your animations look smooth enough while not stressing the CPU too much. It's now time to introduce the last feature of this bookmarklet, the Moz Requests Animation Frame checkbox. So this Mozilla specific property has been introduced in Firefox 4 and it allows to let the browser choose the best moment to paint a new frame instead of using an arbitrary interval. You can read a detailed explanation on hacks.mozilla.org where you'll find more information about this API. Using this checkbox, you can replace jQuery animation logic with one that uses this mechanism. As you can notice, if I check the box, then the actual FPS decreased to around 60, which is the built-in value for Firefox 4, using this logic. This API aims primarily at making animations more efficient, which is promising. Unfortunately, when activating this option, you will see that it yields lower performances than the traditional way. With the option activated, I'm around... I'm around... 20... 22 FPS and when switching back to the traditional interval based logic then the frame rate increase frame rate increase up to 27 FPS I'm not sure yet whether the current implementation of request animation frame is to blame or if my code is to blame. But I hope to draw more attention toward this new API and maybe launch a debate and see what we can expect from it. That's all for now. I hope you have a better understanding of the role of jQuery interval property and that it will give you other ideas to experiment with visual performances of animations. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.